al any algebraic a closed field, maybe not a characteristic two or three, but for now you can think about it. C. So the classical definition, so distribution is integrable if, if there is exist um, some manifold such that it's a tangent space uh, uh, spanned by this distribution. And uh, <coughs> all of this will could be directly superized to the super case. What is super manifold? What is super Lie algebra? I will recall later. So just to note that if you're already familiar with the basics in this field, then the next is a uh, kind of advanced exercise for the school to generalize what I would say into the super case. So, uh, a bit of uh, regularity conditions for our distribution. So, now uh, I remove this guy. Okay, perfect. So, uh, we can define some filtration on our distribution in the following manner. So uh, we have some uh, some bundles of our distribution when fibers d minus one defined in the following manner. We assume uh, that our distribution will be non-integrable or holonomic and that they are complete. So uh, in the end, we will get uh, the whole tangent bundle of our manifold or super manifold. So we can also consider the growth vector. And uh, we consider a regular distribution, so all dimension of this uh, filtration will be the same regardless of the point. And as I said before, I want to stick to the local situation. So everything should be nice for a training school. OK, now uh, I want to construct, associate uh, to my distribution some algebraic structures that I will study later and try to deduce some properties. So first step uh, from my distribution, I can go to a bundle of an important three algebras in the following way. So I fix some point uh, and consider a maximum ideal of functions vanishing at that point. Of course, it has a natural filtration by the degrees of this maximum ideal, but let's change this filtration in a way how our distribution prescribe it. And it could be done in very invariant way that easier to generalize not only to super case, but for example, if you want to speak about uh, some varieties, algebraic varieties and positive characteristics. So you consider functions uh, that lives in our maximal ideal of functions vanishing at the given point, that vanished by uh, this composition of vector fields in prescribed way. So basically it tells you mm -hmm. the vanishing uh, of this, uh, this expression of a high degree enough give you a filtration. So I will give this funny formula uh, uh, to you to understand. So you can see that weights of uh, this coefficient a j depends on uh, which d i our vector field leaves. It's probably hard to unpack now, but uh, uh, consider uh, the case uh, when uh, d is equal to 1, and you will see that it's easier, and then d is equal to 2. OK, this uh, grading will be our uh, not gradient, but situation where will be our main tool to construct some graded Lie algebra associated with the distribution uh, in the following way. So we have a, a filtration. Uh, let's take associated graded. Uh, now we restrict to the condition of distribution to have a transitive property, meaning that this graded Lie algebra is isomorphic at every point of our manifold. So we can think about it as a just vector fields in M determinants with polynomial coefficients. Then uh, that uh, filtration that we define on the maximal ideal define some non-standard filtration on this uh, vectorial Lie algebra. Remember, the standard filtration is given by when you take all degree of all determinants to be uh, 1, so degree of partial derivatives will be minus 1. Uh, this guy will be different. And uh, now let's define a new 
uh, let's consider this algebra not just by itself, but with the corresponding non-standard gradient. Perfect. Uh, what we can say about this grading? Uh, well, first, uh, using this grading, we can consider construct the uh, algebra of symmetries of this uh, distribution in a following way, uh, namely by uh, using Cartan prolongs. To define them, I first recall what is a, a Z-graded transitive Lie algebra. So I have a uh, Lie algebra, which is Z-graded. And every time when I say that my Lie algebra, super Lie algebra is graded, I mean Z-graded. It's not nothing model B or whatever. Uh, so it's transitive if the following condition satisfied. So the space of this uh, vector satisfying this condition is zero. <coughs> then, if I have some important uh, Lie algebra, which is that graded, okay. ah, I turned it off. Okay, nice. perfect. So, um, if I have some important that graded algebra, and I uh, choose negative that grading on my important Lie algebra, then uh, I first could consider some uh, Lie algebra that preserve uh, gradient on my important guy and act by derivation on G minus. Then, in addition, I assume that my Lie algebra acts faithfully. Then the Cartan prolong of this pair will be the maximal transitive algebra uh, that uh, uh, constructed in the following. Uh, later, I will use this construction to construct many infinite dimensional uh, least super algebras in over C on, or over uh, algebraically closed field. But what is most important, uh, why this whole story started, is that um, as a complete uh, a Cartan prolong of uh, this uh, negative part of uh, uh, non-standard grading uh, of algebra of factor fields that we constructed from our uh, distribution is the algebra of symmetries of our distribution. So it's preserved. Uh, again, uh, I'm usually very bad at mentioning. Uh, uh, so I think it was Borg Cartan, Stanaka, uh, then later Weisfeller. I always refer to the paper. It's much better written, so excuse me if I will forget uh, some attributions. Uh, now, perfect. So, we already know that we can associate to a distribution, in particular a non integrable one, some Lie uh, algebra. Uh, so, it will be, as it was said in the title, uh, we are, will be mostly interested in uh, such distribution such distribution such that uh, the, uh, uh, the corresponding Lie algebra is infinite dimensional and simple. So uh, let's see which structure from Lie algebra side we can see that tell us about uh, the corresponding distribution. One of them is uh, so-called Weisfeder filtration. Recall that for infinite dimensional vectorial Lie algebras uh, the grading is usually non-invariant uh, object under the action of group auto automorphisms. So you should consider uh, some filtration and uh, very nice of them, uh, of such filtration is so-called uh, Weisfeder filtration uh, constructed in the following way. So let's L be some vectorial finite dimensional or it could be finite dimensional. Um, the algebra considers a uh, maximal subalgebra of finite condimension, denoted L0, and uh, uh, considers a minimal L0 invariant subspace strictly containing an L0 and denoted by L minus 1. And we can construct the filtration in the following manner. So by these formulas, it goes in a negative and positive side. So the negative guys consist of the uh, commutators of minus first part and the positive 
you can see that they constructed in a such way that they preserve the, the previous parts. So such filtration is called Weiss failure. Uh, and uh, underlying uh, that graded algebra also called Weiss failure graded algebra. And in the case of graded algebra, uh, we see that minus first part, uh, the, uh, the negative part is generated by the minus first part. So, uh, for briefity, I will say uh, W graded and W filtered, and you can see that if I cons could construct uh, uh, the grading that give me this filtration, that they more or less in one to one correspond. So, what is nice about this filtration apart that, okay, as I said, it's one in nice invariant of such infinite dimensional guys. Well, first of all, uh, if I will find some filtration that uh, has a depth greater than one, then it tells me that it preserves some uh, non-integrable distribution. Namely, okay, I could consider my uh, associated graded algebra, look at the negative component. So this negative component will be uh, some non-integrable or non holonomic uh, distribution. On which space? Well, I could consider the linear space uh, given here. So I take this quotient to the finite dimensional by definition. So I should take a dual, consider vector fields on this linear <coughs> space. As I promised, everything today will be local. So now we see that uh, to, uh, to classify all um, non-integrable distributions uh, with infinite dimensional simple <coughs> Lie algebra or Lie super algebra of symmetries, uh, we can do the following, at least uh, uh, if you're speaking locally. So we can ha take a list of all simple finite dimen uh, infinite dimensional vectorial Lie algebras, <coughs> consider the weiss failure gradings, look which gradings has a depth greater than one, and voila, we have all uh, distributions that we are interested in. Okay, let's try to do it over C. Uh, okay, first, the standard grading on vector fields, on the algebra of vector fields, uh, it has a wide uh, failure grading of the, uh, depth one, so no non integrable distribution. The same is for uh, divergence free vector fields. And uh, just to remind that you can also consider these guys as a Cartan prolonged some, some special <coughs> guys. So you can take all, as a general linear algebra or special linear algebra, consider as a corresponding tautological representation denoted by ID. Uh, you can make of it an important Lie algebra. It's very nice. It's abelian. So, and then apply the definition that I gave for complete Cartan prolong. And these two infinite dimensional Lie algebras could be uh, constructed as a complete Cartan prolong of, of this situation. Uh, the same happens for Lie algebra of Hamiltonian vector fields. So again, I will give only one W filtration and um, it depth is equal to one, so no non-holonomic non uh, distribution line behind. And it's connected to complete prolong of uh, a spe a symplectic uh, Lie algebra. But with uh, Lie algebra preserving uh, contact form, so contact vector fields, we have a log. Uh, it has depths too. So we get some non-integrable distribution. Voila, the contact one. Uh, recall that the Heisenberg uh, Lie algebra uh, could be considered as Z graded with grading uh, graded components minus one and two. Uh, so you have minus one component, for example, uh, which is spanned by x and y. Minus second <coughs> component is spanned by z. And you have a commutative condition z. So it's easy to see that it's that graded. 
it's an important, so exactly I promise. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, sorry, I, ID means abelian? Or what? Uh, no, ID means uh, tautological representation, but we make an abelian uh, Leandro problematic. I didn't want to put much details because it was already too much. So, uh, first fact that uh, over complex numbers, when we just consider a Lie algebra uh, as a series that was developed before, this bunch of facts is not very interested because we don't have much of uh, non integrable distributions. But things uh, becoming much more interesting when we uh, go to the super case, or uh, I will briefly uh, recall some results about the case of. Uh, algebraic varieties over a field of positive characteristics. But before I want to give us some short crash about what is Lee super algebras. Uh, so let's start with some basics. Uh, what is a ve uh, super vector space? So it's that two graded vector space when we have even a not part. So super dimension usually uh, denoted by this or just uh, with a stick, uh, string before the usual dimension is just so, sum of components of super dimension. We also have a, a functors that change parity. Uh, what is a morphism in this category? So it's a, a morphisms of uh, vector spaces that preserve parity, that preserves it, that grading, and also uh, we consider even morphisms here. Now, uh, the main rule, the sign rule, so everything now is that to grade it, and to derive some formulas from classical differential geometry or algebra, uh, many of them could be derived using the sign rule if something of parity P uh, moves along something of parity Q, you should just write a sign uh, minus one to the product of PQ and uh, extend it by linearity on of all homogeneous components. Uh, this is probably not so important. And uh, uh, these super algebras. First, I want to maybe point uh, attention that probably they was considered firstly not by physicists when uh, the supersymmetry was discovered by Vesumin or Birezin. Uh, it appeared as Lie rings in algebraic topology somewhere in the 40s and 30s. And the simplest examples, let's uh, look at the homotopy groups of a uh, sphere. So let's, uh, uh, this guy will correspond to the second homotopy group, just identity mapping. Let's H will be the whole vibration. Then uh, if you consider white hat product, then uh, this product will tell us that the square of this, this sorry, it should be two, not H. Or other, uh, in other words, if you consider the corresponding Lie ring, you will see that the square of this uh, identity guy living in the second homotopy group is our uh, Hopf vibration. So here you already have a uh, filtration by the degree of homotopy groups. You have some squares, which basically a half of a commutator which tells you that you can define a least super algebra using some squaring. And what we will go on to is the advantage of this uh, definition that it works in any characteristic. So we start with that to grading uh, vector space. Zero part is uh, Lie algebra. Odd part is module over even part. Uh, made into two-sided ideal model by anti-symmetricity. And we require existing of a squaring uh, defined in a formal way on the uh, odd part. And so it could be encoded as an operator from the uh, second symmetric square of odd part to the even part. And uh, based on that, we can define a square Squaring, basically it's a taking uh, one half of a commutator of element with itself.
For example, this formal works if you're working uh, with some Lie super algebras uh, that defined uh, as uh, subalgebra of, of general linear uh, Lie super algebra. And then we should impose some condition. For example, uh, so uh, we have uh, these formulas for squaring, so it's not linear. And uh, bilinearity falls from the fact that uh, uh, we started from symmetric square. Now I should impose some condition, namely a Jacobian identities. So uh, this is, uh, of course, we have a Jacobian identity for even part, and for odd part, uh, we start with this guy. Then, in general, position is just regular uh, Jacobian identity. And for uh, special cases, uh, we should uh, replace it. And all of this uh, in some positive characteristic done just to have a uh, Poincare Birkhoff theorem for universal enveloping algebra. Uh, probably I will skip it because I will not pay so much attention uh, to the fields of positive characteristic. Okay, now what is a matrix list of algebra? So we can consider some finite dimensional uh, super vector space, then um, super matrices could be decomposed in the even and non part in the following manner. Uh, we can define a, a Lie algebra structure by a commutator, and then my squaring could be defined in the following manner. And uh, super trace is given by this nice formula. So special linear uh, algebra is a guys uh, with a zero super trace. OK. Now, what about bilinear forms? Uh, we can consider uh, two maps uh, in a given basis. Then we can uh, write a gram matrix uh, of the corresponding bi uh, bilinear form in the, fall, in the following manner. So, and define a super transposition like that. And. Uh, what is a Lie algebra, Lie super algebra, preserving some uh, bilinear form with a given by a gram matrix is written here. You should iterate as a classical condition first by taking super transposition and then taking into account that you can have even and odd uh, bilinear forms. They could pair even even guys with even guys, odd with odd, or they could uh, have a cross. And uh, mm, to give a uh, definition of what is a symmetric bilinear form, we can define an upsetting given in the following manner. And the form is called symmetric if its upsetting is the same. So we can consider that the corresponding Lie algebras, uh, which is orthosymplectic one, if you will write uh, a gram matrix of uh, non degenerate bilinear form. On uh, of, of, of even guy, then you will see that uh, for even guys it will be orthogonal, and for all odd guys it will be symplectic, or vice versa, they are isomorphic. Then, if you will consider the Lie super algebra of preserving uh, odd bilinear form, then it will be protectively super algebra, denoted here. And uh, in one of the mm, cases, it, it has a non trivial central extension given, I think, found by Arthur Sergeyev, uh, denoted by AS in the following strange formula. Uh, it, just a brief introduction, uh, introduction, and later I will use these components to build some infinite dimensional algebras as uh, complete Cartan prolongs. I have 10 minutes, right? Yes. Okay. But there's probably not Arthur Sergeyev, right? Yes. Yes, sir. But uh, during talks, I usually tear up all these names. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, now I will want to tell. So, in the um, titles, you will see that it was a basis naively because I was keeper uh, under the cover of what are morphisms in my categories of. Uh, 
least super algebras, what is a least super manifold, what is a linear manifold. Uh, now I want to give a couple of slides with um, proper definition from the point of view of uh, functor of points. I will be a bit sloppy, but I want to give a main details uh, why supergeometry is not just about uh, how you can think from the first place manifolds and vector bundles on that. So first, consider some zero n-dimensional supermanifold. It's uh, some Grassmann algebra over point. So algebra function in this case is a just Grassmann algebra, Grassmann algebra, and uh, uh, morphisms mm, of uh, such uh, superpoints uh, is automorphisms of Grassmann algebra with preserved parity. So in coordinates, we'll have some nice expression like that. And uh, later, we will see how it will be different from what we will have in classical differential geometry when we'll consider just morphisms of factor bound. So now let's consider much more interested super domain, namely take some domain of dimension n and consider a fiber bundle with dimension n over it. Then uh, algebra function on super domain associated to this data uh, will be algebra of smooth function on my domain with values uh, in this uh, Grassmann algebra of this vector bundle. And uh, morphisms of such domains will be morphisms, uh, will, could be lifted to the morphisms of algebra functions. And uh, in coordinates, we can write like that. Note that if I just considered morphisms of vector bundles, this box term will never appear. Because when we consider morphisms of vector bundles, we cannot mix coordinates on a fiber on a base. But when we look for super guys, it's allowed. So it's one of the uh, features that usually forgotten that or doesn't it deserve more attention in my sense that we have a much more morphism in a super case. And uh, even more uh, morphism we can get by tensoring with some super commutative super algebra. And all our constructions should be functorial with respect to this tensoring. So we have an additional box term corresponding to this tensor, tensoring. So uh, the proper language to formulate it is a language of um, representable functors. I will just show this carry slide for a couple of seconds and move on because uh, Surprisingly, what I will tell later will be quite easier to uh, generalize to this case, so I'll not put much attention. Oh, all right. And what is then proper definition of a Lie super algebra? First, we should define what is a uh, super linear space. So it's some super uh, many uh, some super domain associated to a vector space in the following manner. So we, we take. Uh, yeah. And again, I'll skip it. So now, Lie super algebra is uh, some linear super space such that at every, uh, it corresponds in a naive way to Lie super algebra that I defined by a squaring. And also, functorial uh, with respect to tensoring with, uh, with any super commutative super algebra. Okay, so this is proper definition by uh, by language of uh, functor of points. And now, as a homework, which probably at this point could sound horrible, but um, if you see it carefully, you will see that it's not so hard. So I said a lot of things about a distribution in the classical case. Now try to generalize all of this, uh, at least to the uh, super domains. So remember that we can think about vector fields as derivations of algebra of functions. Employ uh, uh, this definition to the super manifolds, and you will see that most of the definitions uh, uh, that I was given you in the case of 
the distribution over a manifold could be directly generalized. But in some cases, he will need some work. All right, and now, uh, okay, I don't, don't need this. Uh, probably don't need this. So, now I want to speak some, uh, about some non-integrable distribution in super case, and uh, as in case of just the algebras, the natural thing is to start with contact distributions, uh, uh, which are given uh, on the following slides. So, if you have an even compact form, uh, one could show that there is only one class of it, so you have uh, uh, this normal shape of it. It's defined for uh, when you have odd number of even coordinates and any number of uh, odd coordinates. And you can consider the corresponding um, Lee super algebra of factor fields uh, preserving this distribution. Uh, in the 70s, Leidos also discovered uh, the analog of this uh, Lee super algebra with uh, where the corresponding form is odd, so you have odd contact vector fields. So you see that this form is odd now because tau and xi are odd variables and q are even. And both of them give you examples of uh, some non-integral distributions and uh, the least super algebras uh, corresponding to these guys are simple line and finite dimension. Now, what about the uh, White's failure gradients. So surprisingly, uh, you have a much more White's failure grading, namely more than one, for least super algebras. Uh, the rest will be review of works of Leitas and Shepachkin about um, White's failure gradings and classification of uh, uh, simple and finite dimensional vectorial least super algebras. It was started by Katz and finished by uh, Irene Michalna in the 90s. So, First, we have some non-standard gradings of uh, uh, Lee super algebra of factor fields, and uh, we can change uh, degrees of odd guys in the following manner. So, star here indicates a standard grading. Now, uh, we can do the same for the Lee super algebra preserving odd contact structure. And again, we have a um, some standards and gradient, which already give us non-integral distribution, and uh, family of non-standard gradings that give a uh, distribution, again, non-integral distribution with uh, bigger depths. I will show you the components on the next slide. Uh, this guy is not so interested. And for con contact guys, we have, again, some families that relay uh, connected to the number of odd indeterminates. So, uh, how the corresponding distribution looks like? You can see it in the following table. So, this all uh, infinite dimensional simple uh, Lee super algebras could be, uh, uh, could be realized as complete Cartan prolongs uh, from the following data. So, uh, C before the name of Lee super algebra tells that it's a cent trivial central extension. Uh, you see that now G0 is not even uh, simple, it's semi simple Lee super algebra. Looks a bit scary, but you see that some of the uh, gradients give you uh, <coughs> intuitable distributions, for example, when G minus 2 is empty. So uh, this is non-integrable distributions corresponding to serial uh, vectorial superalgebras. And we have much more for exceptional guys. I will just uh, present a table to show you how many of uh, the corresponding distribution di distributions we have. And I uh, want to point on attention that uh, uh, this uh, word is much more richer than in the um, case of Lie algebras because we have only one distribution uh, with a simple and finite dimensional Lie super algebras of, uh, Lie algebras of symmetries. And here we have a list, and I uh, don't even have a time to 
go uh, one by one, and that's why uh, that's a natural question probably for the expert in the audience, as uh, Denis Baris, uh, Baris, and uh, others. Uh, what could we say about, for example, corresponding differential equations that have uh, this least super algebras as algebras of symmetry? And so on. Uh, I would also mention that uh, this technique is easily generalized to uh, fields of algebraically closed of uh, chapteristic greater than zero. It's re it will be written in the paper that I hope will appear on, on our hive and I will refer to it. Uh, thank you for your attention. Question. So there is uh, this theory of Susie curves where you have this non-integrable mm -hmm. distribution, you know, this, uh, which uh, you know are very important because they follow uh, the theory of Riemann surfaces, yes, yes. right? And for example, in my collaborator Quark, we classify those that have a group structure, mm -hmm. super group structure. I mean, how is your theory related to them? This is, uh, uh. Because also, I mean, they've been the object of work of many yeah. people. I mean, I quoted my, I cited myself, but the, I mean. Uh, Many, many. Uh, well, I'm curious. Uh, so, uh, your what was the symmetry of the, uh, the, the corresponding distributions to uh, this? Uh, this is what I'm asking you. Have you looked okay, at that? Uh, there, there is a list. Yes. So we can just check. Because if you know the uh, even the growth vectors uh -huh. uh, or it's, it's a very degenerate case, it's very small, right? It's uh, 1 slash 1, 1 slash 2. It's very degenerate. Yeah, then I think it will be a not interesting. Yeah, point. from this point of view. Okay, sorry. But uh, well, it's a legitimate question. It's also, uh, I would say, uh, so it's somehow the problem that uh, I was considering here is easy to solve algebraically. Now we want to find some good uh, geometrical interpretations. A part of that, it's some distribution. So what? What else we can say about this? Okay. We'll talk to you later. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Sorry, I was so quick in asking. I didn't <laughs> thank the speaker yet for perfect keeping time and having such a nice lecture. So further questions? Uh, do you have any uh, explicit coordinate realizations? For the yes. Structure? Yes. I mean, for all of these guys, it's written in the papers of uh, Shepard and Latest. I also have even some mathematical notebooks with these guys to perform some. Experimental calculations. Or if you will need, to uh, feel free to contact me. Yeah. Uh, so, so what's in the, in, in the right column? So, so it's full prolongations there, right? Uh, so, yes. So, this is an uh, uh, exceptional uh, vectorial simple lead super algebra. We consider only ones that give us non, non colonomic distributions. There is much more of them. Uh, this part, g minus 2, g, mi g minus 1, sometimes g minus 3, give you the distribution. Well, it's corresponding important at least z graded really super algebra. And uh, uh, g0 is a zero part of, prolonga of prolongation. And then uh, the whole guy in the left column obtained as a complete Cartan prolongation of this important uh, guy with this zero part. And how did you compute uh, this full prolongation? Uh, what, what, what was, say, uh, the kinds of proof? How, how, how do you compute the full prolongation? You mean how to prove that? Uh, the or how do you yeah. compute it? Well, OK, I, I will refer to Shepashkin's uh, uh, paper that it's around 50 pages with calculations. So it's. So, so it's, it's, it's below two, two. Yes. Uh, and there is something in the very right column? So, so uh, it, it's supposed to be a, a dimension of a non positive see. part, but mm -hmm. I think it's some extra. Good. Some more questions? So just to understand, is they all infinite dimensional? Yes, yes, yes. All infinite dimensional and <coughs> zero. And Sorry. you assume that. Uh, like, the representation G zero representation on G minus one is irreducible. Yes, yes. Otherwise it will be not yeah. wise failure great and yeah. otherwise yeah. then G minus one also <coughs> generates a whole negative part. Mm -hmm.
hope. Is there, is there, like, you, you can discuss it. Yeah. Any further questions? Not the case, so let me thank Andre again. <laughs> There's a coffee break, and we shall start the afternoon block at 4. Mm -hmm.